Hey guys! So today's video, we are doing our February favorites for you guys. Yeah, this month has been so much fun. We've been traveling. It went by really fast for us. Yeah, it's been really hectic and crazy, but we're just going to be showing you the products that we've been loving the whole month of February. So let's get started with um, fashion. Sure. So one of the first things I want to show you guys is this little bag. It's just a little black bag with two straps. It also has a... What is it? A long Like a bigger <laughs> handle so that way you can use it as a crossbody. <laughs> yes, thank you. But I've been loving this. It goes with everything. It's small and compact. It fits everything you need and it looks so cute and chic with any outfit. I know. I've been loving it. I've been using it a ton too. So the next fashion favorite that I've been loving this month are these new shoes. These are actually Nine West, but I picked them up from TJ Maxx. They're so cute. I love these. They're so cute. They just have these straps on them and the heel is not even too bad. It's probably like a three and a half, four inch heel. They're super comfortable and they're just really cute. So I've been wearing these a few times during the month. Another pair of shoes that we've been loving are these boots from Forever 21. They're really great because the heel is not that big so they're really comfortable to walk in. Yeah, these go with anything. We've been wearing them a ton with almost every outfit. And they're super inexpensive so they're a really great buy. Yeah, so these are really great and we've been wearing them a ton lately. Okay, next. Ooh. I have been loving these sunglasses that I have recently picked up. I think I even got these from TJ Maxx too, but you guys, can you talk about it? Don't they look great on her? And she has such a hard time oh. with sunglasses. Yeah, it's if like you are someone like such me, a hassle. My my face is just so small and round that I feel like sunglasses always look huge and bulky on me, and I just can never find the right ones. But these ones were like the perfect size, and I've just been loving these, so those have been my favorite sunglasses all month long. Okay, so this is definitely one of those fashion statement pieces. You guys have probably seen me wearing these a couple of times. They're just some leather gloves that I got from Forever 21. These, I just think, are so chic. chic. So like, chic. look how great these look. Yeah. They can just, you know, spruce up an outfit if you just want to add a little something extra. This is kind of like almost like jewelry to me. Mm -hmm. Just like a statement piece. Like, if you want to have rings or a bracelet or a watch or something, instead, just throw on a pair of gloves. And I love how they don't have the fingers in it. I don't know. I just think they're... Yeah, it makes it easy so you can, like, text and you can still do stuff without yes. actually having, like, gloves on your hands. So, love these. Yeah, I've been wearing those a lot, too. Okay, so let me get these off of my hands. The last <laughs> fashion piece. I know, I just throw everything. I don't know why. So, the last fashion piece that I've been loving. Let me see if I could, like... It's long. It's a long black coat. This is from Forever 21. And literally, you guys... Oh, my gosh. Been wearing it. We live in this. This is... <laughs> This is literally like my favorite piece of clothing right now. It's really just comfortable. The inside is really warm. It's super chic. It kind of just makes you feel like... Kanye. I don't even know. Like Kanye. Yeah. It's like really like badass and yeah, it's really just nice. really chic and stylish. So Forever 21, you guys pick it up. Yeah, Love they've really it. been up in their game. They have. Have you guys noticed that? Their website's like completely different. Love Forever 21. Okay, so for skincare, we haven't really been using too many things or trying out new products because we have been traveling, we've mm -hmm. been super busy and stuff. So some of the products that we have been loving, though, are um, these, what are they, first aid beauty products. And we got this specifically for traveling because we didn't want anything that was too big or bulky. So we tried these out and we've been loving them. Mm -hmm. This one is the face cleanser with fat antioxidant booster. It's really great. It's really gentle on my skin. We both are prone to acne and breakouts. Yeah. So this one actually worked really well for us. Yeah, and another product that we've been loving is the Skin Rescue Daily Face Cream. This stuff is so great. It's oil-free. It goes on really nicely. It doesn't really have a scent or anything, and it just leaves your face really hydrated but not oily. And for exactly. us, that's so important because we kind of have, I would say, like normal combination skin, and then yeah. we just get oily in the T-zone sometimes. So this has been really helping, and I've been loving this, and it doesn't make me break out. I have really sensitive skin, and a lot of products make me break out. Um, and another product that we've both actually been yes, loving. Yes, this stuff is so great. What is this? The Facial Radiance Overnight Mask by First Aid Beauty. Oh my gosh, it's like gosh, literally it's like, like a amazing. Spa. It's a spa in a jar. Yeah, you pretty much just put like a light, thick layer, however much you want um, on your skin. You can leave it on overnight. This is actually perfect. We put it on right before we got on the plane. Yeah. And we just got off the plane and my skin did not feel dry at all. If anything, my skin felt no, a little No, because that's what we were definitely really worried about too, being in the air, the altitude. We mm -hmm. heard that your face gets really dry. So this was such a lifesaver and we've been using it ever since and we love this stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much the skincare stuff that we have been really loving this month. <laughs> there it goes. Okay, so what's next? Let's do some makeup. So there's a lot of products that we've been recently trying this month. I'll start off with this blush. It's the Hot Mama um, blush by The Bomb. 
This stuff literally is so beautiful. Let me show it to you guys if you could see. I don't know if you could see that well, but it's like a peachy shimmery color and this just illuminates your skin, makes you look so great. I think it looks good on any skin skin tone. It looks good on me. It looks good on her. So yeah, it also has like a little bit of a gold reflex shimmer yeah. in it. So it kind of doubles almost as a highlight. So it's just really gorgeous, really great color. Another product that we've been loving from the Balm is the Nude Dude Palette. Ugh, you guys, oh, this love. palette is so good. Um, they have another palette. This is actually the second palette that they came out in this nude series. And that one is just called, what is that one called? Just the Nude Tooth Palette. Nude Tooth, That was yeah. the Nude Tooth Palette. That one, I didn't really personally love the colors in that one too much. But this one, oh my gosh, these colors, you guys, they're so they're good. So they're so pigmented. Lot, yeah, they're really pigmented and they're actually a lot more neutral than I feel like the first palette was. So I feel like this one is a lot more wearable. Yeah. So. Um, we've been definitely using this palette for so many of our Yeah, looks. and you can create so many different looks with it. It's endless. So if you're looking for a good palette, I would definitely recommend this yeah, one. So this is the Nude Dude Palette by The Balm. Okay. Let me just talk about this really quick. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And this really has changed so, our lives. So amazing. I love this stuff. This stuff actually, not only does it keep my makeup lasting like almost all day, but any time that my makeup like... Sometimes it's right after I put it on or even just like throughout the day if it looks kind of like scaly and like, like dry. Yeah, it's like, just not right. You know, I don't know. It just doesn't look right. It just looks a little cakey. I'll spray this on and it Life almost, changer. It almost like puts like a film over your face of just like hydration. I can't even explain it. It's yeah, just, and the weird part is like we've, we've had this forever. This is probably like the third one that we've mm -hmm. purchased. And, you know, like, we'll use it when we're going out or we want our makeup to last, but it's just, you know, whatever. But for some reason, yeah. this month, it's just, like, yeah, I've realized how more. good it actually works. I think my skin's just been a little, maybe just a little bit more dry this Something, month. Something, but... So, I've just been loving this over top of our makeup. So, this is definitely a keeper. <laughs> now that he's throwing things. Um, okay, so another makeup product that we've been loving. Again, this is from the Balm Cosmetics. We've just been loving a ton of their products. This is the Mary Luminizer um, Highlight. You guys, just let, just give it a moment. <laughs> so basically, this is kind of almost like a, um, I would say more of like a champagne. Yeah, it's kind of like a pearly champagne color, and it's just so gorgeous on your skin. You could do it on its own. You could do it over some blush, and it just really illuminate, illuminates, illuminates your skin, makes you bright and glowy, and it's just yeah, it's, it's a, a really, really tone. great product. And another cool thing about this, even though um, Jordan accidentally broke the mirror, it has a really great mirror <laughs> that comes in the compact. But other than that, the product is amazing. It makes you just look so like lit from within. I love mm -hmm. it. So definitely been reaching for that. Like. Okay, so Literally the everything. last product from the Balm is this Mr. Right Now Eye Pencil. And this is, is it called Nude? Is that what this is? No, it's actually called Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Brian. <laughs> it's called Brian. And it is a nude liner, kind of like for your inner water line. And this one, it works so well. We've tried a few different ones that are the same color. And I think this one is my favorite. I think it's because this one almost, it's like the perfect nude. It looks exactly like the color of your inner rim. Yeah. And I've noticed a lot of inner rim color liners like this will look like really like almost like bright and like maybe like too or too peachy or peachy, but this one, it's almost a little bit darker and like toned down. So it really I don't know, it's just it's really great. It looks exactly like your really, inner rim. And it really opens up your eyes and makes yeah, your eyes so look bright. We've so definitely great. been using this a lot lately, especially when we're just doing like our everyday makeup looks. Okay, so our last two makeup products, I'll start with the mascara. This is just a sample size we bought this for traveling we've had this a few different times mm -hmm. this is the Too Faced better than sex mascara and literally I talked about this in my makeup video that I just watched I'll post it below if you guys want to see it but this mascara works so freaking I love good. it I love the wand on it it's so unique the wand on this it almost looks like a curved hourglass and yeah. it's so fluffy I have a thing with mascaras <laughs> to where I need the wand and the brush to be super oh there you bye <laughs> I need the brush to be like super fat or else it just doesn't. It just my lashes are just no, it just doesn't work good. So this one has a really fat brush and it's it's just it has a really good formula to it. And too. it keeps your eyelashes up, which that's like my biggest problem. My eyelashes, mm -hmm. if I curl them, they just fall because I don't really wear falsies yeah. that much on the day to day. I don't only with you know I want to look you know extra, but this stuff. Seriously, you guys, try mm -hmm. it. Try it, and if you um, don't want to get the full size, I'd always recommend. I've said this before, getting the yeah, deluxe sample sizes. Babies. That way, you could try it out. You could see if it actually is going to work for you, and if you love it, then you can repurchase it in the full size. Yeah. So that's 
a winner. So basically the last makeup product that has been <laughs> like our holy grail product Seriously. lately. This is the Tarte Emphasize Eyebrow Pencil. I don't even know what sparked me to get this, but I just remember being in Sephora and I was like, hey, you know what? You look cool. So we picked this up and it is like the best eyebrow pencil over Literally any eyebrow one. pencil. We've used a few, but this one is just so freaking great. Um, yeah, it goes on so smooth. Like kind of like, you know, if you've used the Anastasia one, that one's really super waxy, which is good sometimes, but this one has that same waxy consistency but it's just toned down a little bit so it goes on a little bit smoother and this one lasts probably 10 times oh longer. my gosh this has been kicking for so long we it actually just months. it just ran out like two days ago and i freaked out because and we both gone. use this too so it lasts forever and the, i think the last the last thing <laughs> um another thing that i really actually love about this specific <laughs> brow pencil is that um, the tip of it is so small. Mm -hmm. Like some other brow pencils have a really fat tip and it's kind of just like, you can't like, it gets everywhere. And get it yeah, so this one's so small that if you just need like a little bit or, you know, just to kind of fill in your brows, it makes it just a lot easier and quicker. So this is something we've both been using like every single day this month and for probably like three months. Yeah, forever. We love it. Um, okay, so what, what else? <laughs> Okay, so another kind of random favorite that I've been loving this month is this little um, bun thing. Oh my god, that car! <laughs> that car was driven by so oh my god. many times today. What are they doing? I don't know. That's really Creepy. weird. Okay, so anyways, <laughs> um, I have been loving this little bun thing that I got from, I think I got it from Target, mm -hmm. um, just for a couple dollars. It's really great because basically what you do with this is you use it to basically put your hair up and roll your hair over it to create like a really awesome, perfect, full, perfect, amazing bun. Um, it's super easy and simple, so I've been wearing like my hair up so much this month and for the last like two months actually. So this has been something I've been really loving and reaching towards just to throw my hair up and it looks amazing. So another item we've been loving this month is this tea. It's from the Tea Detox. This one is called The Skinny and it's a loose leaf tea. It actually comes in a set of two. Um, the program comes with the tea, um, the skinny tea, and then it comes with a colon tea and you kind of drink them together. But this tea is mm, so good. I love this tea. The best thing about this tea too is we've kind of tried a couple of different like mm. tea detox drinks and tea detox drinks in general. And they kind of don't really taste that great. No, they taste horrible. <laughs> yeah. They're so they gross. It tastes really, really bad. <laughs> so basically what I'm trying to say is this one actually has a really good flavor. You almost don't even really taste it. Especially yeah. if you um, just drink it with like a slice of lemon. Or even an orange too. That mm, tastes really good. Yeah, so that's just basically how we make it. We just um, we actually put it in these little tea diffuser things. Mm -hmm. We have one and one's like a little cute strawberry. And you basically just put about a teaspoon of the loose leaf tea in these diffusers. And then just just leave it and seep it for about five minutes or so, three to five minutes or whatever, and then we drink it with a slice of lemon. So, if you guys are looking for some tea, check this stuff this out. so cute. Good stuff, good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, so... Is that it? Yeah, let's is talk that, about... Is that okay, Mm-hmm. Okay, so next let's talk about TV shows. So in our last <laughs> January favorites, we brought up Pretty Little Liars. I, I, I called it. Let's Did we say. not say who are the ten new characters? Like this person, that person, that person. Like I'm confused. I still don't know what's going on. And is it just me, or like is this show getting like really creepy? creepy? Like who is murdering? And, and like, no one even cares. Everyone's like, oh, like yeah, murder. I'm just gonna go to the woods by myself and like go look for A, even though he or she's a killer. Hello. I don't get it. I don't know. It's a little so. weird. It's getting. Oh my god, the hospital bed. You remember how? Ah! much because like I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, are you guys even into it still? Because we're really <laughs> not, but it's like, you know, at this point we've been talking for like still, 10 years so. practically, so. Yeah, we only have like, what, five more years until we find out who A is? Yeah, so we might as well just keep watching. <laughs> Anyways. Um, do, don't we have another favorite show? Do we? No. <laughs> yes, we don't watch too much. I movies. think I think my favorite show lately has been How to Get Away with Murder. Uh, like who watched the season finale. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Wait a second. Don't even tell them in case they haven't watched it who what even is going on, but you oh guys need gosh, that show to so watch twisted. that show. It's so twisted. It makes me want to go to law school and be a lawyer like really bad. I know it's great. It's great. Um what else? What else has been new with us? What um, else has been our favorite? Um, 
<laughs> I don't. Oh, songs. So we have a new jam this month. We have month. two new jams. Oh. No, we have three. Oh. We have three new okay, jams so, this month. So what's the first one? The first one is Tyga and Justin Bieber. Wait a minute, like. It's like one of those songs that you don't even really know mm -hmm. exists, and then mm -hmm. all of a sudden you're playing and you're like, wait a mm -hmm. second, you're like, you're like, who is this? What? And then yeah. it's like, favorite, love Tyga. Love me some Tyga. <laughs> okay, so our next favorite song that we have been listening to almost every single day, all day, 25 times a day, <laughs> is Big Sean's I Don't With You. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, you guys need to listen to anthem. it. Anthem, jam it, the jam. It. It's the anthem. It's the it's the. It's just one of those songs that's like if someone's like being mean to you or being a hater mm -hmm. or like whatever they're doing, just play yeah. that song and just like you'll feel better about yourself. You'll feel <laughs> so much better. And another song that just is really like our anthem right now is Beyonce. Bow down. Well, is that it? What it's called? It's called Flawless. No, it's called Bow Down. Is it? Yeah. Whatever it's called. Actually, I don't know. You guys, what's it called? <laughs> is it called Bow Down or Flawless? I'm not Let sure. Let us know, but either way. I think it's called Bow Down, though, because... But um, I think that's pretty much it for all yeah, the things so. that we've been loving this month. It's been a crazy, weird, short, but it's long... Real. But long month, I feel like so. And we have so many videos that are going to be coming out, you guys. So stay tuned for what's to come. We're so thankful for you guys watching our channel every day. All the love and support you guys have been sending us is amazing, and we really, really appreciate it. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching this video and all of our videos, and for all the love and support. And we will basically see you guys in our next one. Bye. Bye.